Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Jason Salmon is an up-and-coming comedian. I'm sure most of us know, like, it seems like the way celebrity works, right? A lot of people start as a stand-up comedian, and then they get a TV show, or they get acting roles, or in a movie, or whatever. But it seems like most of them start out as a comic, a stand-up comic, like Jerry Seinfeld, who does the signs and symbols, by the way, and is into a whole bunch of meditation but that's for another video, I guess. I've shown Jerry Seinfeld a bunch of times. I was just saying that for an example because Jason Salmon we're looking at here, he's a stand-up comedian, right? He probably wants fame, fortune, and success. He wants to be an actor, I'm sure. Something like that. He's hanging out with a truth-telling guy at NASA. I can't remember that astronaut's name, but he's a liar, and he's probably a Freemason. You don't have to believe me. You can research for yourself, but you probably won't. And why am I bringing this up? Because Jason Salmon, the stand-up comedian, is hiding his hand in his coat. Or in this case, his puffy shirt. He's hiding his hand in his shirt the way a Freemason would do. Freemasons do many signs and symbols, and they push satanic agendas. If you don't know this, you should know this. It's very important to know that the world is biblical, and all the stuff that you love so much is sold out to the devil. But I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist, right? I'm a crazy Christian. Why am I so judgmental all the time? I do get people like, why are you judging this? Like, I am pointing these things out. Everyone uses judgment. When they talk about me, when they question me on this stuff, they're using discernment, sort of. They're using judgment. So I'll use my example. When, when people say love is love, it's not. A 60-year-old man is in love with a 5-year-old child? Well, that's, that's crazy. Why? Like... See, people need to use judgment, righteous judgment, in a lot of cases. Or we just let anything go, right? Do you think that's a way to live in this world? Everything's fine, just anything goes, doesn't matter, right? A lot of people have warped minds. A lot of people are sold out. If you're into Aleister Crowley, he's one of the most satanic influential people he was. People read his books. It's about magic. It's about, <coughs> it's about Freemasonry and yoga. And... There's stuff involving children, very gross stuff. And some people say, well, Aleister Crowley did that. It worked for him. I'm ranting a little now, but we must use discernment. Christians especially need to use discernment with the Holy Spirit to help people in this world, to let them know the truth, to shine light on darkness. Most people don't realize that he's hiding his hand like a Freemason. Why is that a problem? The small g, quote unquote, God of Freemasonry is Lucifer, the light bearer. That is Satan. This is a problem in this world. A lot of people don't realize that Satan's even real. They go, I don't believe in Satan. If someone says, I don't believe in this, that, or the other, that doesn't make it true or not. The reality, the absolute truth goes on without people's opinions. They need to realize that. So if you have an opinion about these videos going on here and about anything in the world, opinions don't matter when it comes to absolute truth. Many people, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we've researched for years. We're shining light on darkness. And people of the world don't care because they love their lives. They love lies more than they love the hard truth. And they call Christians bigots and hateful and judgmental. If you want to live in, the wor live in a world where you're blind to all this, I feel very sad for you. You should want to seek the truth. It should bother you. You should want to be a truth seeker. Don't you want to know the truth about things? It might upset you. You might have some mental stress with things. People might call you names like conspiracy theorists. What is God going to call you on that day? Is he going to say, well done, good and faithful servant? Or is he going to say, depart from me, I never knew you? Because those are some scary words. I don't have this all figured out. But I'm doing this channel in hopes that it opens people's eyes, people I love, strangers. I'm always trying to work on myself to be nicer to people, but a lot of people come on here and they're not nice. And they say stupid things, and it's really stupid because they haven't researched the subject, and then they come on here and go, blah, 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 judgmental. They haven't even researched, they haven't even read the Bible, they don't understand that the world is biblical, and that they're a sinner in need of salvation. Everyone sinned, everyone needs a savior, there's one, Jesus Christ, he died on the cross, shed his precious blood, was buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures. That's the only way to go to heaven, the only way to be forgiven, the only way to have eternal life and to go to the Father.
It's all about Jesus. The world doesn't care because they love their lives. They love lies because they're more comfortable than the hard truth. God bless you.